here are five free add-ons I use on every project. Okay, so the first one is Shakeify. I already talked about camera shake with the noise modifier, but if you want real, authentic, organic camera shake, make sure to download the add-on Shakeify from Ian Hubert. It's free, I put all the links of the add-on in the description. Let me show you real quick what it does. So right now I have a really simple camera animation that is very smooth. So if I want to add some realism to it, maybe it was filmed handheld or out of a car, if I have installed the add-on, I can go into the camera settings and I should have this option camera shakeify. So now I can add a new shake item and now there are different presets. So right now I have the investigation, let's see how that looks. Okay, so we have just some shake. Then I can also like change how much it should influence the animation or how frequent it should be, like if I turn it up like it's faster and there are also other like for example a handycam run it's like if you run if you run with a phone in your hand or a spaceship shake yes it's a really cool add-on if you want to master the camera shake next up is blender kit this is a really cool add-on it has thousands of free models and materials. You can just search from them inside of Blender, for example, a brick texture. And now we can see these are all free and it's also just drag and drop onto your object, which is amazing. They also have a paid version. And uh, maybe like you can see everything with the lock is paid, but they have so much free asset and it's directly in Blender and it's really fast. If you just need something you haven't by yourself, you can just download the asset from here. They also have HDRIs or whole blender scenes, but I use models and materials the most. By the way, a really similar add-on is the one from Sketchfab. You can just import free materials from Sketchfab directly into Blender, which is also great. The next add-on, which is an add-on I really like, is the EasyHDRI. With that, if you download like HDRIs from HDRI Haven, if you have like your own HDRI library, you can just select it right here with all the HDRIs, put them all into one folder and then select it. And right now you have a pretty cool preview. Then you can create the world. And now if you go into cycles, we have the HDRI applied. So the cool thing is you can easily adjust the sky strength, you can like change the rotation. You can also change the color if you want to add a tint. Or something I often use, maybe turn down the saturation a little bit if you want to get a certain look. And yes, it's so easy to work with HDRIs and you don't have to set up your own notes every time. So definitely make sure to check it out too. The next add-on is Cheese Scatter by Grasswald. It's a really cool add-on if you just want to create some grass or plants really fast. They have premium assets that are paid, but they also have free assets and the add-on is free. So insert a plane, select it as your emitter. And then if you go here under download free assets, you see different plants. So for example, let's download yellow old grass. So you can click it, download. Okay, nice. Now you can press this library button with the imager still selected and you can select your asset. So let's take the old grass pick and then you can change like the level of details. If your PC is not as good, you can select two. And yes, then you can select cheese scatter selected. Okay, so now you can see we already have some grass. So Right now you can change the density, crank it up and many other things. I won't go too much into it. And there are other videos on YouTube, but yes, it's a really cool add-on to scatter some grass and to create some realistic grass. And their assets are also very high quality. So this is definitely a must download if you want to create something with nature. 
and we're already to the last tip to the last add-on for that go into edit preferences and under add-ons search for material library so you can activate it right here this comes default with the blender installation so when you activate the add-on let's select the material i select the sphere we used before and then if you scroll down under material library vx we have some if you select sample materials we have some pretty cool preset materials so the cool thing about this is they're all procedural because this is an image texture and it has some seams but these are all procedural textures so let's select maybe facade glass and press apply to scene okay and now we have a glass material they also have more complex materials like wood and yes it's just something cool to know about and I was pretty impressed that it comes like default with Blender. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me and all the free videos I do, make sure to check out my Patreon. You can also join now for free on there. I will also upload free assets. And if you want, you can upgrade to the premium subscriptions. You even get a seven day test trial. So definitely make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Also like the video if you liked it and dislike it if you don't. And make sure to let me know in the comments what you want to see next or if you have any questions and also make sure to subscribe and hit the bell you know the drill and yes i wish you all a great week goodbye